Hello there. I'm going to uh, do a walk around of my Kolb KOLB uh, Mark III Extra. This is the widest Kolb they make. You can see the uh, sides belly out on it. Some people affectionately call this the duckbill style because of the wider front end. The uh, classic uh, always came down to a point, plus your uh, instrument panel was way too far forward. I always liked this one because of that uh, center console where your controls are right or your instruments are right up there where you can, uh, can see them good. We'll take a quick look inside. Uh, yeah, two five gallon tanks. That's a brand new uh, uh, two place intercom. A brand new ICOM uh, handheld radio, external antenna. This plane has a uh, electric uh, fuel pump plus the vacuum pump. You turn that uh, electric on for 10 seconds at start, then shut it off. Of course, if you ever need it, you could use it. But uh, this thing has uh, every gauge you'd ever need. Uh, up here, I have the uh, uh, I fly 720 for it. It's not here right now. Uh, two headsets. Uh, the tow brakes are Matco. They were uh, totally replaced the uh, brake pads and the wheel uh, stuff last uh, 2014 annual inspection. Okay, I mentioned on the uh, uh, Barnstormers ad that need a little TLC on the paint. Uh, you can see right here is a patch. What happens is this wing folds back and uh, goes back against the back and he had a, uh, the guy I bought it off of had a bracket made and it had carpeting on it but the carpeting wore into there a little bit. I'm not going to take the wings down today because my helper here never did it before and uh, I'm going to refer you to Kolb Aircraft KOLBAircraft.com and clear down at the bottom it'll say folding the wings uh, when they fold the wings he said that his uh, I can't think of what remember what they called this now but this part right here is removable on most of them he made his permanent and he'll say his is not removable but this one is you can take that off and then you have to fold the then fold the wings back so that's uh that's one place where it rubbed from the shipping. When you fold the wings back, there's a pin right here. This pin fits back there in a pin and, and supports the uh, wings when it's folded. Now, I, I said about the paint needs a little TLC, uh, scaring people off. And uh, right here, whenever I hauled this back from the state of Washington, we covered it with that white plastic that they... Uh, coat boats with and we put tape around we of course we didn't put any around the tube just off the body and that's where the tape pulled the paint off my plan was to uh, get my license I have 15 and a half hours instruction in a one exactly like this the Kolb uh, East Coast dealer he had a hundred horsepower engine and this is a uh, 80 horsepower uh, Jabiru and uh, this is a brand new prop. This is a Senage prop, not a cheap. And then uh, looking on back the tube here, this this rub here, we had an H frame sitting underneath under the trailer to haul it. Again, it jiggled up and down and wore the paint off right there. The tail feathers are all in good shape. No repairs or patches. A little bit of rub on this side too. That uh, that wing, when it folds up, fits right in this tube right here, and that uh, lines up good. I've had them, I've had it folded and unfolded. This is the other side of the engine. Okay, this this is uh, in the hangar. Some bird dirt. I gave it a bath here. A week or so ago, and the birds are have a 
there's a vent in the roof and they're getting in there that'll wash right off I washed it off last week and uh, this co-pilot side it uh, there's a I put a brand new battery in it like I said the brakes were uh, brand new last year that's the only thing that uh, that I've really done to it it's ready to it's ready to go the uh, the video online is uh, the, the East Coast dealer the same guy that's shows you how to uh, fold the wings that's the guy that flew that this this exact plane right here in the uh, in the video he test flew it in the video for folding the wings that's his plane that's the one I took uh, lessons in we did that because he has a hundred horsepower Rotax a short field short grass field and uh, the last you know after I got a little bit more experience we were going to try this one but uh, we weren't able to accomplish that. Now I, I told I told everybody that the uh, the original owner built this in 2004. He flew it until 2006. Sometime he had about 67 hours on it, and he uh, hit he landed short on the runway and uh, hit this right landing gear and the, and the right wing tip, and uh, the original builder fixed it and he fixed it for himself he didn't fix it to sell it he kept that plane for six years but he was diagnosed with macular degeneration and uh, so that's why it, he still couldn't let go of his baby so he kept it for six years I bought it in 2012 13 2013 I got it inspected in 14 and this is 15 I just waited too long it's uh, some medical issues but, uh, well, I won't go into that. It, uh, it, people were worried about the damage. I'm going to show you see this little bit of road rash right here. That's, that's, see this is real thin fiberglass. If that hit very hard at any, he bounced, bounced his nose a little bit, hit that wheel gear and hit that right wing tip. He fixed the, it, by the way, those are the, uh, the heavier later design. And you can see they're uh, a little bit forward. The, uh, the earlier design was straight straight underneath the strut here and it was a little bit nose heavy people got to put too much fuel on and uh, pushing the nose over too much so they moved the center of gravity uh, a little bit forward well the center of gravity back by moving the wheels forward a little bit I get uh, I get in here and uh, we'll start it up see what that engine sounds like thank you